let's go ahead and see how to use filter pro so go ahead and open your filter pro installation and you're gonna get this window that lets you select the filter type let's go ahead and uh, design a low pass filter and notice that uh, we're gonna be able to select the stop band frequency attenuation ripple and also the uh, this other corner frequency go ahead and click next so in step two we can select the gain you can specify it in either volts per volt or decibels so if you change the decibels or the uh, volts it would uh, it will automatically go ahead and change the uh, the other unit and uh, if you're just designing a filter you can leave it at zero you know if you don't want any uh, any gain or in other words any amplification you can go ahead and leave this at zero your pass band frequency notice that it's labeled FC uh, that would be this frequency here so that's this corner frequency the other corner frequency is FS so you can change these values to uh, get the uh, specification that you need I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just leave the default values uh, just remember that this is, this is 1000 this is 5000 the ripple is the uh, distance between here and here so that is your uh, pass band ripple let's go ahead and change that to 2 the uh, attenuation that will be the distance between the uh, middle of the ripple to this corner frequency line if you were to dry it horizontally so you can also change that value now click next in uh, step 3 you get a uh, a list of response types that you can ch select from and you have the order and the number of stages the number of stages are the uh, basically the number of op amps that you're going to be using so we have them from 2 all the way up to 3 and you can actually zoom in and out in this window by simply uh, scrolling, scrolling the wheel in your mouse and you can also drag it around so you can see how your uh, how each type of response behaves throughout the frequency below so you will simply select the uh, the type of this of response that you uh, feel confident is going to uh, match your specifications I'm gonna go ahead and select the uh, Chevy Chef so now click next uh, oh and before we move on you, you can have several plots you can get your gain in terms of volts over volts right now we're plotting the game in terms of decibels you can also get the phase in terms of degrees or radians or the group delay Let's go ahead and go to the uh, fourth step so in the fourth step you can select your uh, filter topology in other words the circuit design you will be using I'm gonna go ahead and uh, choose sailing key you will see your uh, filter topology with all the values for each of the components a useful thing to do is to uh, specify the tolerance for your resistors and your capacitors and that will uh, actually get, get rid of the fraction after the number because you know in the real world a, uh, you know so if, the, if the fraction is too specific it doesn't really matter because you, you have a tolerance so go ahead and select the uh, respective respective tolerance for your resistors and capacitors 
and uh, if, if uh, let's say for example that you don't have a uh, 10 nanofarad capacitor but you have a 20 nanofarad you can change that value in filter pro and the change will ripple throughout all the other components so type the number and press enter you can do the same thing for your resistors but notice and uh, be careful that that like I said uh, changing one of the values will change the other the rest of the uh, values for the other components to match your uh, filter specifications a useful thing to look at is uh, your data tab where you have your uh, gain in terms of volts per volt and also in terms of decibels and you can use this data spreadsheet to basically make sure that your uh, filter matches the requirements at any given frequency so like you know this will be so you're uh, at 96 hertz your gain is going to be 0 0.083 in terms of decibels and uh, so you will be looking at your corner frequencies and in between those corner frequencies finding the uh, maximum gain, the minimum gain and making sure that that value that the difference between the two is not over the ripple value that w you had specified and uh, you can also check the uh, you should also check for the attenuation at uh, each of the corner frequencies and make sure that that value also matches your specifications if you go to this next tab you're gonna get a nice list of all the components so you can print this out or you can also export it to Excel you also have this design report so that'll give you a uh, the layout for your circuit as well as the values and all the types of uh, selections that you made in the previous steps so that's basically uh, what filter pro is and how you can use it